Oh yeah. Damn, what a way to start automatically sneezing. Ugh. Right, as the title says, um, I was doing some, uh, I was going to say theory crafting, workshopping on like the Sherry Albert story logo. And then like I had lunch, so I watched by a family. But I still think I should at least do a few more of these before I actually start streaming something today. So yeah, let me just show you anyway what I've got so far, because it's not really going to be a secret anyway. I need to show like the examples I have. So like if anyone else wants to like branch in with their idea, they can. Right. So, so far we got this one. I need to make sure I zoom it out right because the bottom of the screen kind of covers it if I'm like that. We have a circle in the middle has obviously Sherry Arbor's story and then I wanted to do this text all the way around but let me just show you. See, oh wait, no, that's not the right one. Why want to, oh, because, <laughs> yeah, Joe, because you saved a copy of the logo. But basically, yeah, you could already just see there, it just dips into thing. I did set it to half instead of circle, but even when it's circle, it still does the same thing. Um, oh, yeah, and I'm also very sniffly right now, so I'm, I apologize if I, I just, like, sneeze a lot. Because, like, I'm just a bit sick right now. Uh, yeah, so see, if I do circle, like, it stays in the circle for a bit. Okay, never mind, I lied, actually. No, yeah, see, there it is. So it's around down here when it leaves, so, like, it's not a perfect circle. Don't need to save it entirely. Ugh. And the reason I'm workshopping a logo... Is because I, like, I kind of think it's about time... This series actually finally had its own logo. I think I found someone on Fiverr that might be good at it. Like, as long as, like, they actually would be able to give me, like, the commercial rights to a logo. And it's not just for YouTube and Twitch, as their gig says it is. Um, right, so that's this one. And again, as I said, this text, I kind of wanted all the way around. But, like, it's just kind of just stuck at the top right now. Which, honestly, isn't even that bad upon itself, but... It is how it is. Uh, we have simple, which honestly, I do really like the simple look. This kind of reminds me of the, um, oh, what are the video called? The anime, like, intro and outros I used to do. Like, I know the last one, the anime outro, like, uh, a random anime outro. Like, that basically was in this style as well. And it's just simple. It literally just says, oh, yeah, by the way, if you're wondering what this says, it just says Sherry Albert Story. That's all, like, this and the other say. And it's Google Translated, so it's not, like... <laughs> It's not exactly probably right. But it's close enough, you know? It's Sherry Arbaru uh, Monogatari. That's what the... I think, yeah, I think that's what the title is in Japanese. Hold on, let me just double check that. Yeah, translate. Uh, Sherry Arbaru's story yeah so sherry ah uh, ayabu uh, uh you know uh, just just play it through joe just play it sherry aweba no monogatari aweba no monogatari i swear i've heard yeah monogatari something monogatari i swear like there's a few anime titles that have that in their name <laughs> I think it would be a disservice to not have, like, Japanese text as a part of Sherry Albert's story because of what it's based on. Because it, it is based basically on, like, anime and all that sort of shit. But yeah, here's the second one. And then I decided, like, to look into, like, what it would be like if it was just Sass instead of Sherry Albert's story. Which, obviously, Sass is, uh, I don't think I've ever mentioned this before. But SAS is the um, abbreviation for Sherry Arbor story. So anytime uh, you go into one of my streams and I say subscribe to SAS, I basically mean subscribe to Sherry Arbor story. It's just I can't fit the whole thing. 
Or really, it should be um, Saz-Sess or something like that. You know, like S-A apostrophe S and then S, but we, we cut that out because all we need is Sass. And honestly, like, I thought, okay, it might work, but, like, now I'm looking back at it, it's like, nah, this doesn't work. Oh, and I noticed as well, this kanji letter looks like a Naruto runner. <laughs> like, it looks like that's a leg, that's a leg, that's the head, and that's the arms going back. And there's a smiley face as well. Which I think the smiley face is just S or something like that. I'm not entirely sure. Because again, I did just Google Translate that. So like I'm not 100% certain if it's good or not. And then we have the SAS 2. And of course you'd have to zoom in to get the full effect of this one. It is a bit blurrier though. Because like I need to like get it in better quality. But I think compared to the two SASs here, this one's just better. Just because it has a thing. And even though this shouldn't really be called Sass. This should, should just be called like the, another simple uh, logo. And that's where we are currently. I am trying to now think of like another design for what I could do. So if there's... Can I like dupe them from here? Do, 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 do. No, I can't. Oh my god, fucking hell. I'm sorry, by the way. I'm just like... Oh, I think maybe I'm just warming up too much. Let me just cool down a tiny bit. By actually untucking myself. I'm actually wearing like a long sleeve um shirt for the first time since like what let's say like probably around April, May time. Which is like around the time when I started streaming a lot more consistently. Or a lot more than twice a week, should I just say. Ugh. Oh yeah, and I might... I'm just going to say this now. In... Because it's October. um, One of the weekends, I'd say... It might be a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and maybe even a Monday as well. I probably won't be available to stream. I'll let you know in advance. It should be around the 14th anyway. But yeah, right. Anyway, um... Real quick, just let me... Yeah, I want to go back here. Actually, I can... Yeah, I can show this. There, there's nothing I'm spoiling. Oh, look. Woo. Um, I not. I want to duplicate this. And I want to rename it first. Um, actually, I don't even know what to rename it yet. So I, I, I shouldn't really do that yet. Ugh. But man, I don't know why. Like, the circle one just came in. Oh, actually, I should pull out my thing as well. Copy. Because I was doodling a bit in it, but like... Yeah, actually, never mind. There's nothing in there. Because I started doodling in my copy. I was like, you know what? Actually, I'll just do this on the computer. I think on the computer would be better. All right. Um, I mean, I did a circle. So let's do, like... Let's do a square. Or something else. Because there is, like, a lot of shapes. Like, shape options. We have, like, all these different squares. We have, a, like, a square circle. And then we have a circle. We have this. Actually, I should, like... Let me at least do this. Just to show, like, what shapes we have. Because, like, I kind of have been partly thinking about using it, but... I don't know how a thing would do. A heart might make sense. The plus I don't think makes sense in relation to the story. Like the star would probably have to increase. But some of the stars just look too thing. Oh my god, guys, it's a primo gem from, uh, I was going to say from Fortnite. Uh, from Genjin. Um, yeah, I don't know. At this point, I'm just fucking around just to see, like, would it work. Okay, you know, let's... Yeah, let's fuck around with the heart one. Okay, now you might be thinking, why am I turning it white? It's because I can do outline. I can make it Sherry Arbor's pink. And then we can edit it from here. Yeah, I think 100 would actually work with this. Um... Right, this is the logo altogether, isn't it? Yeah, that's the logo altogether. So I can delete that from this one. 
And, like, I've just made the, like, white background the default. Because I don't know, like, if I'd really want a background on her or not. So I'm just leaving it as it is. Um, okay, so we have the thing text and the normal text. Let's bring this one up to speed. And, right, text. Do I really want it there? Because I kind of want it up a bit higher, just like here. If I was to do this one. But then again, is there any room for this text, Joe? Or is it good to just be like, nah? Hmm. Unless we have... Wait, actually, let me make sure I don't have anything incriminating. Yeah, I don't. Okay, cool. It's just all Japanese text. <laughs> I, did, I did look up hentais beforehand and was copying and pasting their URLs, like... So we're good. But then again, all it'll probably be is like MILF stuff anyway. Um, all right, let me just bring this up. Because I have like the text sideways like this as well. Just in case. Oh, wait, that might actually work as well. Because, okay, wait, I was going to do this, right? Basically put the text underneath here and go from there. Or, if I bring back up that text, we can do this, put it up here, and then bring this down a bit. Uh, I don't know. I'm not really vibing with it. Oh, wait. Why is the bottom cut off? Bro, oh, that's going to annoy me. Why is the bottom... Okay, to be fair, this is all just like... Um... What's it called? This is all just like conceptual pieces so like when i actually do to go to like fiverr or skep i can actually like show them yeah this is like the concept i'm looking for you know and then it could just improve it from there but that still really annoys me though is there like a triangle i can get in there must be a triangle somewhere okay here's triangles okay hold on if i could just like draw like this world's oh i won't Wait, okay, it will. Watch, Joe. Okay. Oh my god, it fits as well. What the fuck? That's actually perfect. How did I do that? Oh, never mind. It's not so perfect. Uh... You had it there, like, not too long ago. Mm, doesn't look right. Just, just, just leave it, Joe. Wait, and honestly, the line in the background, I could, like, just do that, but I kind of like the line in the background as well. It's like a, um, whatchamacallit, it's like a heart rate monitor. It, instead of, like, the dum-bum, bum-bum, it's just, like, an actual heart, like. And I know, which one was it? It was Circle as well. Um, or was it Circle? Well, I mean, we could bring it to Circle. So where's circle? We could bring it into circle as well. And have it behind the logo. That nah, actually doesn't really suit it. I'll leave it there though as an asset. Uh, wait, which simple we on? We're on this simple. Okay, and I can even na rename this as well. Uh, to heart. I, I kind of, like, again, I kind of like it, but like, it's not there. Ugh, it's hard not being like a talented artist, like, and not even a talent fo like talented photoshopper, like, those two just like don't work out with me. Again, I will fully admit that was pro. This is probably the worst one. That's probably the second worst. The circle, I think, would be third, maybe even the heart, and then obviously the best so far, I think, is legit just this. Just because it's simple. Oh, let me do this. Just reopen it. Just so, like, I can read up here that it says, like, heart. So I know exactly which one I'm clicking on. Mm, but then again, would you really count that as the best? I'm not sure. Is that cut off at the bottom? I really hope it's not. Because, again, that's just going to annoy my little brain. <laughs> hmm. I, I, honestly, like, I did say about the whole thing around, but I, like... It's not bad just the way it is. 
And obviously I wouldn't be able to use this same font. I'd like want them to draw it in a different font. I'm just using this font as a placeholder for both of them. Because, yeah, they should be both using, yeah, the same font for the most part. Um, okay, so that's another one done. And I th again, I think I'll leave the heart, like the line on this one because I think that looks good. Uh, okay, let me do duplicate. And this time we'll call it simple two so I know exactly which one I'm messing with. Right, I did say a square. So let's try a square just to see how that goes. Uh, shape. Do I want a rounded rectangle or do I want one of the other ones? Yeah, I think a rounded one might actually work out better here. I'm not going to lie. I uh, don't really like the drop. I might use this hexagon for a reason I can't say yet. What the fuck is that one? Let me see. Let me, let me draw off it. That looks kind of cool. But first we'll just leave it up here with rounded rectangle. Until I decide, like, what's what. Man, some of these shapes are so random, but, like, they could probably go well together with something. Like, if I, if there was a flame theme in, like, Sherry Alba's story, like, I could use one of the flame ones. There's scribbles. What's this one? Mm, nah. I just want to have a look at it, honestly. I mean, actually, it <laughs> just... Maybe. Potentially. You just write in here, like, Sherry Arbor's story. And then the Japanese text there as well. Nah. I think we'll just stick with this for now. Okay, first we'll go like that. Do that. Uh, we'll get rid of the thingy one, because we don't need a dupe of it. We'll get that down there. We'll bring this up, this up, and we will fill it white, just so I can do the outline, which will be pink. I think honestly, the thick like originally I wasn't, but I was like, nah, not the thick tech, like a uh, uh, outline, but it's kind of just grown on me over time, especially because like it gives you room to start like putting text in. I think this would be the easiest one to put this text in if I did try it. Right, hold on. Let me get texts. Wait, oh, yeah, wait. First, I need to squash this here. Squash this here. And obviously, like, if I do give them, like, a confirmed uh, concept piece as well, I'll be like, oh, yeah, by the way, if you need any more theming for the logo, here's, like, Basically, it just just linked them the fucking playlist of Sherry Arbor's story, <laughs> and they're like, ah, okay. Um, I think that's better the way that is now, because I was gonna do this, but I don't think that works. I think like it's better off being like this, and then if we get this text, stick it in there. Okay, and then I need to make this smaller so that it fits in better. And now for my test to see if it works. Oh, I, I, wait. Oh, yeah, I copied it. You can just you could just duplicate it, Joe. You don't have to copy that. You should know this from the various softwares you use. Okay, that's halfway that. So I need to try and get it like here, roughly. Then obviously I want this this way. Oh, wait. No, this would work a lot better. Hold on. So if I do this, um, I'm pretty sure there's... Curve, outline, shadow. How did I do it before? There was a way you could just, like, turn it on its side. Alignment, style... There's a way you could turn it on its side without having to do it manually, I think. Curve, background, outline, shadows. No, never mind. Right, uh, I need to temporarily make the text black so I can actually see it. Because all the white is just blending into each other right now. Oh, 
up, up. Oh shit, we're moving it too much. Right, uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. here, here. Now I just realized, uh, actually no, that's not that bad. That's all right, as long as I do this. And then make it white again. And then now, we just duplicate that and put it here. This is essentially what I wanted to do with the circle, except like, it's easier here because like, the text I can like work with it better. Because the, for the circle, where's the circle? For the circle, I needed to arch just right, and I could literally just type out the whole thing, but like the circle, I think, is a bit squished or something like that, and I'm not really bothered to re like write the thing. Okay, let me... Okay, I need to do this now. Hold on. Do this. Control D. No, nope, that's the wrong one. Bring this both up here. Hide this temporarily. And I want to do this. I want to see the difference between that text and this text. Right, it's in the thing. Now we just... It's a bit smaller. Ugh, no. There's... Maybe? I don't know. It's it's weird. I'm I'm being weird with this. I don't know why. Okay, and then we have obviously that one. There's something more satisfying about seeing Sherry's full name being written and then seeing story, instead of seeing this. You know what I mean? Like it's just, it's just not the same. I don't know. I'm gonna leave it like that anyway for now. Exit out. I'm gonna rewrite simple as uh, square. I can spell. You know, that's a good thing. Like, it's just like... <laughs> you, like, an actual person who's trying to be a light novelist and they can't even spell right. It really gives you a lot of hope for the future for the light novel series. But yeah, the main reason I'm even doing this in the first place is like... What I need to do is I need to like... Come up with the logo. Then I think the next thing I should do is actually like get the uh, cover of the book like made and then once I've done those two then I should look into either publishing or self-publishing Sherry Arbor's story and we go from there right but at the same time actually let me let me write all this down somewhere hold on let me show here let me show my work ins I'll even call this work ins right so we don't need any of that right now what we need is a pen Okay, but hold on. Let me just get an empty layer because the software is being weird. All right, um, we don't. We just give me a hard brush. That'll work. Right. <clears throat> so we are here, right? This is where we are right now. What I'm hoping to achieve with getting the logo is, uh, well, you know that I, actually, you know, the series has a logo that it can be recognized by. And obviously, the ones I'm doing right now aren't really, like, eye-catching. Like, when I think of good logos, I think of, like, My Hero. Like, My Hero's logo is really good. The anime one is really good as well. I'm just looking at the... Ugh, let me pull it over. My Hero Academia Team Up Missions book. And, like, I, I would recognize that logo, even without the thing. Well, I mean, to be fair, Joe, it is written saying My Hero Academia. But, like, if you saw, like, the My Hero logo, it's like... It's like this, roughly. Hold on. And you do that. And it says, like, my hero. And obviously, academia would be here as well. And then it has it written here as well. Like, that logo for the anime is just really good. Another one I would recognize is Demon Slayer one. And I think it... I can't remember off the top of my head, but it's something like that. And, like... I, I, again, this is really rough work. It's like that. And then it has, like... The thing written in the middle. And like you recognize it mainly because of this arc on the outside. Essentially. I'm trying to think of... Well obviously there's others but it's just not coming to my head. But anyway. Logo. The plan is we get the logo done. Then we get more concepts. Which will lead to the uh, book cover.
which will lead to publish. So I'll just say publish, but this is like publish slash like slash self uh, publish. Uh, publish. Actually, I'll just say self slash publish. You know, Joe, maybe you can make this a bit thinner. <laughs> it's just like it, you're finding it a bit hard to write here. Right. Now, whilst all this is being done, let me make it yellow instead. Right. Whilst this is being done, the actual volume one itself, I'll have people review. So let's just say review volume one. Right. And then I edit it. Edit. Uh, galore. And essentially from there, like, it's a shorter path, but then it still leads to being self-published. Like, at this point, I'm learning that, like, it's not just the case of, like, I need to be on one of these paths and only one. It's, like, I need to be on, like, I need to have multiple things going off at the same time in order to get to basically this goal. This is the goal now, basically, to, like, go to a publisher or start to self-publish the book. And then obviously the plan after that would be like, like what I would do afterwards. Actually, you know, but you know, actually whilst I'm talking about all this, I might as well just keep going. Hold on. Uh, duplicate. Workings to Right. Now let's get rid of all this. By doing that. <laughs> Joe, that's the simplest way to do it. Empty. Up one. Right. Then let me, again, make the paintbrush smaller. It's not too much smaller, but it'll work out. So, uh, so we have publish slash self publish. This and upon itself is also like a two branch way kind of story of what could happen. So if we look at publish, like the publish side of things, trust. That is the biggest thing and concern for myself would be trust. If I can't trust them, then I can't work with them. If they even want to pick up my story in the first place. Um, so there's trust. Um, and then there's like... Like, we'll say distribution. So, this distribution ads slash ads, etc. Then we have this stage where it's like, if I do get with a self-publisher, am I going to have to worry about most of this stuff? Are they going to cover it for me? Like, I'd have to definitely look and see, like, what would happen there. Um, and there's probably a few other steps I'm missing, but then the hopes is then SAS volume one twenty twenty three release. That is the biggest hope now. Like after I go through phase, uh, my, like I can't even call it phase one at this point, because like. The last workings I showed, this is essentially like phase two now. Like we're in like actually trying to, I guess, polish up volume one as much as possible. And we go from there. And then this is like, I guess, the final phase. And again, I am missing probably other bits in between. And I'll probably learn that as I go along. But yeah. And like when it comes to ads distribution and whatnot, it's also like a question of like, do I want like... Do I want it to only be digital? Can we get physical books made? How many physical books should be made? And so on. And now we got side B. We got self-publish. Instead of trust, we got cost. That is the big thing. And we also have to do everything. Everything. My self that is the biggest like de factor from me wanting to self-publish but it also does give me a lot of control over like what happens to the series itself and i also have to look up if i have to like run through anything first before publishing it in ireland 
Because, like, you know, there's no way I'm going to be able to publish this, like, like and distribute it to other countries. Which, again, this would be the advantage of publishing instead of self-publishing. It's where, like, they just handle most of that stuff. And they the most they would probably have to do is, like, get it, like... I'm assuming there's maybe, like, a certification system you'd have to go through to get, like, a book published in a certain country. I know when KSI made his book, like, I don't know how he went through with it, but they, like... They did manage to have it caught, like call the book KSI as a bell end, but then like shops at that point were just censoring like the fucking <laughs> like title of the book <laughs> so it's just like bro come on man I don't know I, I guess it makes sense it, it makes more sense as well in more of like children's bookshops or at least bookshops that deal with a lot of children's books and adult books at the same time but then again that's a weird mixing upon itself but like I do know there are shops like that though like there's a branch shop which I not shall not name by name unless they want to work with me on this but um <laughs> yeah and honestly there's there's also like the thing oh yeah I might as well just make that point that there um there's also like the big hope that somehow like I'll get recognized by like fucking like a Japanese studio and they're like oh yes th this is interesting why, why not publish this in a country that would actually care about this and you know what that does make sense now, what if I told you is there is another pathway from self-publishing? I know, this is madness. Joe, where are you going with this story? Okay, right. So you may be like, wait, Comic-Con? Why? Oh yeah, sorry, I should have been playing music in the back the whole time. So why why this? Why this suggestion, right? Actually, if anything, this shouldn't even be here. I should have written it further down. Ah, uh, shit. Well, it's stuck there now. Whatever. Um, I suggest this because, right, um, as far as I'm aware, Dublin Com Comic Con is March next year. So if I were to self-publish, I were to get the cost sorted, and it's all ready... I can get all the books ready, and if I can co like contact them, hold on, actually wait. That this basically might I might as well just point that this way. So like if I do that, I could like actually physically be there in a place full of like you because I've been into Comic Con like full of weebs, full of comic book lovers, all that sort of stuff, nerdy nerds, just like myself, and I could like actually sell Sherry Albert's story physically in person as the author and like hold my own kind of stand now i don't think we'd have much uh, like i was like daydreaming about it quite a bit it's like oh what if i had this bit of merch and this this and it's like no joe i think the simplest thing would be to literally just have the book itself and not like obviously this route as well i'd probably have less copies i probably i wouldn't even print much i'd say like hold on let me check the attendance for comic-con in uh thing Uh, Dublin Comic Con hosts two events per year, March and August, and have grown in size since the first launch with over 22,000 people attending the two-day event in 2019. So that was back in 2019. Is there like uh, 2022? And I say Dublin as well, Comic Con, because like that's just the easiest one for me to get to. Like I do know there's one in San Diego, and there's like I think one in New York. There's one in probably, I'm assuming just all over America as well. And there's some in the UK. But, like, I think for me, it would just be easier to get to the Dublin one. Like, because, like, that's the one I went to as well. And I'd be able to recognize it. Especially if they do it in the same place. Okay, I don't think, yeah, they're not mentioning how many numbers. But, like, in 2019, 22,000 people. If I could convince at least, like, 50 of those people to buy the book. Maybe even 100 if I got 100 printed. Because I think, like... I looked it up before where it's like, if you get books printed in bulk, it's usually like in, I think, the hundreds. I don't think they'd do it like just 50. Um, then yeah, anyway, sorry, I'm just going to stop talking about this. There's no need for all this. We're, we're here to try and design a logo for Sherry Arbor story. But now i got to decide what's next, though. Or if I'm just going to stop here and maybe brainstorm a bit more later. Because I could also just look at other logos. 
But I'm scared to show Google images on, like, Twitch in case it shows, like, fucking hentai or something. <laughs> it's just like, well, guess I'm fucked, you know? Um, right. Honestly, the more I look at this from a distance, the more I don't actually mind it. But, like, I don't know. I feel like, see, I like this one, but I feel like it's too simple, you know? I don't know, man. I don't know. Um, right, what, what, what are we deriving from, Joe? We're deriving from this? Yeah, cool. Simple two, right. See, the easiest thing for me to do personally is just to keep, like, uh, whatchamacallit, is to keep get going to, like, the shapes and just seeing, like, what shapes we have on offer. Okay, you can stay as that. I don't want to change you. I want to make a new layer. How do I, how do I make a new layer? There we go. Dupe. No. <laughs> Dumbass. Empty. Okay, there we go. That's the shape. Oh yeah, wait, Joe. Why don't you just do this then? There you go. And then temporarily make it pink. So we can see what shape it's turning into. Okay, that's slightly rounded corners. That's more rounded corners. That's even more rounded corners. That's the most. Oh, wait. Nope, this is the most rounded corners. And then we go to this. Uh, I don't really like that one. I don't really like that either. Honestly, this kind of like... I don't know if anyone else sees this, but I see Cocoa Melon in this. Hold on. Bro, you cannot tell me you don't... Hold on, wait. No, I'm, I'm doing this right now. Outline. Oh yeah, wait, I need that to be green. This green. And then I need this fill to be like pink. <gasps> Yo! Oh my god, it actually is. This is <laughs> literally the Coco Melon. This is the Coco Melon logo, bro. Wait, um and then hold on. Let me just get a thing. I'm not arsed to actually oh, fine, I'll do this instead. Look, guys, it's Coco Melon. Bro, you you cannot tell me, even just with like the way that simply was, that like that in upon itself is not the Coco Melon logo. Like, you cannot tell me that. Oh shit. Uh, what am I doing? Uh, I fucked everything up. Wait, back, Joe. Z Z. Oh, now we're saying Z, are we, Joe? Wait, where? Bro, I've been using the software for so long. Where the fuck is it? Edit. Redo. There you go. I, th I think that's everything. Is it? Nope, that's not. Wait. Oh, yeah, there it is. Layer 5. Cool. Right. We do this. Uh, I, w I want to get give, back give me back my shape. Right. Uh, let's keep looking around. That, like, reminds me of Halo for some reason. I don't know why, like, Halo Reach. Nah, it doesn't really suit. Maybe if there was, like, a proper... Well, I was going I just said that a proper flower, and there's a flower here. Um, oh, but if we had, like... Hmm. That's a good idea, kind of, maybe. <laughs> okay, wait. Nah, wait, delete that. Let me go grab something from Google Images. Oh my god, this is probably going to be a beast of a fucking picture. Oh, Jesus. Why is it so high quality for? <laughs> Bro, this is ridiculously high quality. Hold on, I'll, I'll show you what I'm doing. Right, pretend this is like in the anime art style. And it's not like thing, right? Um what you might call it. Eh, let me just take another tissue. I'm gonna bring out tissues. I'm gonna have to like actually just dip for a minute just to get more tissues. I think if anything, I need to like stop doing this soon. Maybe play a bit of Fortnite Battle Royale. Yeah. You know, actually, I should stop, like, doing those, like, exercise things I do. I've done it, like, 
a few times in a row now where I just do all the exercises in one go and don't give myself a break and I try to do it all within basically five minutes. It's not healthy. Right, okay, we have the strawberry, right? But the question is, what part should it replace? Because I don't think it should go... Well, actually, it could go in the A if we do it upside down. The E would be a bit of a weird one. Okay, right. We're here to experiment. <laughs> okay, maybe it doesn't entirely work when it's like it still looks like a real one. No, come on, there we go. Ah, see, mm, okay, Joe, I, I know what you have to do. Right, so. Wait, if I do that, oh yeah, see, now the thing's ruined, so you have to do it this way. <laughs> That's not a jump scare and a half if I don't like if I've ever seen one. Right, leave that there. I shall do this. Get rid of that. Move this up. Right, and then okay, this is the only time I'll accept this properly. Unless I do the other one. Hmm. Yeah, no, this way. And for now, we'll leave the Japanese text out until I can, like, fit it in somewhere later. Right, and then we do this. Okay, right. Got the strawberry. No. <laughs> we got the strawberry. Turn it on its side again. Okay, wait. Actually, let me make sure I keep, like, a good image of that and then just copy it from there. Because I don't want to do this and then do that and it's all pixelated, like every time. Right, so we have a strawberry. See, I don't know where I'm going with this now. It's not really working. <laughs> like, it could work if I did it right, but I'm not like a professional designer, so it probably won't go right. Right, for now we'll dupe that one, because it's not that big anyway. And we can put it in this E as well. Definitely the plan. Oh, and we, we have another E, Joe, that this can go into. Wait, where the fuck did it go? I thought... Did I not just dupe it? Oh, I copied it. That's why. Right, and then... Now we need the... This big one. To come back up temporarily. So we can put it in the A. Maybe if you tilt it a bit like this. Okay, wait, wait. Freeform stretch. There we go. It's definitely meant to be poking out a bit. Because that, that's the way... It, okay, th this is horrible. I don't even want to finish this. This, this is just the worst one yet. Like, I, I, I called the other one, this one bad, but like, that's bad. I'll call this real strawberry. Strawberry. There's also, like, the one where we could just, like... Ugh. We could just straight up just use, like, Sherry Aubrey's face as thing. Hold on, let me see if I can do that real quick. Uh, yeah, we'll dupe this one. Mm, no, just, just, just dupe the original. Uh, or simple, should I say? Dupe. Wait. How do I close? I can't close it from here. I need to close it here. Do this. No, dumbass. Close. Back. I'll call this one Sherry. Right. Uh, file. Open image. I'm going to get both the images for Sherry. Because there's like an earlier concept of Sherry. And then there's like the actual finished piece. Before. No, not before actual con actual concepts. There it is. And then we have this one. Which you can open. And then there's. Oh, shit. Oh, I opened this in the fucking new tab. Dumbass. How do I... Okay, Joe, how about just open this? Go here. Go here. Here. Go to not the YouTube file. Sherry. Concept. Sherry. 
When I say Sherry concept, Sherry, it's like, bro, Joe, how deep is your levels of, like, thing? Um, I'll drag this one in, actually, instead. Add the current. Okay. Right, that's here. Now we get this other one. Where it actually is here. Oh, no. Okay, we have... Hang on. Right, let me... At the very least, go here so I can show what's up. Right, yeah, no, I, I don't think the actual piece will work for this. I think, like, hmm, this one, like, down here might be better for it. I just need to, like, firstly... Ugh. Doesn't matter if I cut it off a bit. And then if I were to merge. Merge. Right, so that's all a part of this one now. Can zoom in a bit. Right, what's the plan here, boss Joe? What are you doing? How are you ruining this one? Oh, okay, I see, I see. Uh, hmm. I mean, it's just, it would just look creepy. You know, fuck it, finish it then. Go on, Joe. Do it. Actually, attempt it before you throw in the towel. Go on, do it. Do it, pussy. Do it. Wait, is this green? Yeah, it's green. I want to... Wait, actually, can I just do that? No, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to do... I can't remember now. <laughs> okay, wait, wait. Yeah, I meant to do this. I like that this is a feature. I never even knew this was a feature. Wait, can I? Oh! Oh, it bro, bro, it just lets me pick anywhere. That's so handy. And now I can make the most scaring image of Sherry ever. If we'd like to actually pick up that I'd pick the color. That'd be nice. Yeah, there's no way I'm going to be able to do that properly. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna like cut my losses and just leave that there. Mm, yeah, it, it wouldn't work because like part of my mindset for some reason is like, oh yeah, just just fucking slap the logo on her face, like that'll work. And the logo would be too complicated in design as well. Like not to say that's a bad thing for a logo to be, but like, I don't know. Go on, Joe. <laughs> just just slap it on there. Like it's not that hard. And, oh, no, I was going to say tilt it, not her. Uh, where's text? Here's text. Bring it back down so I can actually read it. Yeah, because that, that's not frightening at all. It's horrible. I think I've run out of ideas, honestly. I, I think this is, like... After the strawberry one, that's when we started going downhill. That's when we started to think too much outside the box. Simplicity is usually always the best. Right, let me just close Sherry. So, yeah, I'm going to stop the art part of the stream here. Um, but first, obviously, I'll show what I've done so far. So, uh, where should we start, actually? I think we should start with Circle, because that's where it started, right? So this is the first one I started with. And again, I kind of still want the text to go around, but it is how it is. But at least in Square, I got it to like go all around. And this time, like, it's not like this way, this, but on its side. It's actually like actually going down properly, which is what I like about that. Um, but it might be a bit too much text, honestly, now that I think about it. Uh, the heart one, though... That's kind of cool. It might might work in a sense, maybe potentially. I don't know. Um, we also have simple, which is you know it's just self-explanatory. It's just simple, like <laughs> basically if you could never like uh, commission people, that's probably the logo I'd actually go with, just because it's very simple. But you have to remember as well, right? 
with all these logos, obviously the font wouldn't be final or anything like that, the th line lengths and all that and all this shit. But these logos will also be going on like the front cover of the book as well. So there'll probably still be a bit of editing that's needed to be done on them. And yeah, other than that, we have this, which is a bad one, but it's not as bad as the fucking uh, strawberry and the sherry one. And then we have this one. Which might work in, like, an alternative universe. Sir, yeah, there's a thing on the bottom. Hold on. Maybe it was more like this. Bro, I love the way I'm, like, I'm meant to be done, but I'm already editing again. Hold on. Like, maybe if you went in like that. So, like, it doesn't have to be centered. Actually, that does kind of look a bit better now. Like, instead of just being centered, it's just there. But, yeah. Right. That is me done with that. Um, As I was saying about the plans, by the way, I think I'm going to, like, hit up some friends soon. And be like, yo... Um, if you could, could you just, like, read over my story, suggest some things, uh, mistakes and whatnot. I'd love to, like, actually discuss a system with them as well, because I'd hate to, like, get, like, feedback, but then get it in multiple different variants. It's so, like, one person's just like, oh, I'll just write a summary of what I think, like, should be done and not done, and then the other person's like, okay, I'm going to take the most detailed notes possible, exactly how Joe would do it when he wrote his thing. <sighs> but yeah. Right, um, give me a second, I'm actually going to get, oh my god, uh, will I actually, nah, actually, never mind, mm. I'm on the fence whether I should eat or not, yeah, actually, just give me a few seconds, I'm going to, which one of these logos should I leave, I'll leave the heart one on screen, whilst I go and scrounge for something to eat, because, like, I think I need to eat a lot more to get better, so, BRB. Actually, now that I think about it, hold on, wait. Uh, dupe. Be right back. <laughs> Just leave that on the screen. Right, anyway, seriously, I'll, I'll be back in a bit.